Joining us from Los Angeles, he's Kenny Rosenthal, the great baseball reporter, writer for FoxSports.com. He joins us now. Well, you caught my attention with uh, the not a matter of if or when Don Mattingly is fired by the Dodgers. Why does Don Mattingly have to be fired here to make the Dodgers better? Well, the question always, Dan, is how much influence does a manager have? But covering baseball for 20-something years, you learn that there are certain times when the vibe of a team has to change. And I'm not saying even that Don Mattingly is a bad manager, can't grow into being a good manager. But my strong feeling is that there is something that is going to happen here simply because the way the team is played and the fact that he seems unable to get them going. Now, obviously injuries are a factor here, a huge factor. And there are other reasons, and the general manager is responsible, everyone is responsible, including, of course, the players. But who always goes first? It's the manager. And it's that time of year where a quarter of the way through, hmm. and basically I just would not be surprised to see a change in her. I'm looking at this team now. I know they're 17 and 25, but they they got a lot of injuries here. Are, are they... It, does Mattingly have a potential to be a great manager? Or, because if he doesn't, then I could see where they're going to you know, cut, cut the line here on him. Right, and that's a really good question. So far, from what I've seen, and I'm not around him every day, but the one thing I question is how he handles pitchers, and the bullpen specifically. The problem with judging a manager with a bad bullpen is that a bad bullpen can make any manager look like a bad manager. And it's hard to know where the bullpen problems start and the managing of it contributes. The other thing that is a little disturbing about this team is that they'll all tell you almost to a man, Don is so supportive, so positive, and such a good guy to be around. I get the feeling, having been around him a couple of times, that the players are almost too comfortable. Now, you're not going to have a situation where the old Dallas Green comes in and shakes it up. That doesn't happen today. The players make too much money. But there are managers who have a way of drawing the best out of their players with somewhat of a firm hand. That may be what this team needs. And am I saying a managerial change is a solution? No. I don't necessarily believe it is a solution. I'm just saying that when baseball teams look like they looked over the weekend against Atlanta, a manager often gets fired. He's Kenny Rosenthal, FoxSports.com, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. I don't know if you saw the comments with uh, Pedro Martinez, where, what are we, nine years removed from uh, the American League Championship Series with the Red Sox and Yankees. And there were there were stories that came out about these guys prior to the games. They would be cowboying up. They would do shots. Now you got Pedro Martinez saying that they did something called Mama Juana, not M- Mama Ju- Marijuana, but uh, it was Mama Juana that they were doing shots there. Uh, it almost seems like the further removed we are from that, the real stories we're getting behind those 04 Red Sox. Well, Dan, no one knows for sure what happened before games, after games, during games with the 04 Red Sox. But it goes back to was the team successful? And the team was successful. And as opposed to the fried chicken and beer gang, that stuff. <laughs> It's not an issue when the team wins. And nobody is necessarily offended by anything the Red Sox did that year because they won. So you're right. The story seems to get better in time. And I am certain, relatively certain, we'll hear even more in the years ahead. Good to visit with you as always, Kenny. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. All right. Kenny Rosenthal, Fox Sports, a contributor to uh, Fox Saturday Baseball Game of the Week in his latest column, Axe to Fall on L.A.'s Mattingly.